Adam McLeod, 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 Simone Biles is hot. Is that that black girl singer? Want me to send it to you? Yes, of course I do. I may have to stay here late today, and that means I'm going to have a fucking tissue a lungeable area. I am lifting joint. I want to make an account that says I am jerking. <laughs> Crystal or Gabby? Both at the same time. Sebex, 1994. Take away the beanie, are you? <laughs> what up, Eric? Caught me in a chicken here at work, literally. Waiting on the farmer to get back. You caught me... Oh, I... Uh, Caught me a ch oh that's how you were in a chicken I was gonna say with what your finger <laughs> Chris let's just send it to the whole family <laughs> that's not my call <laughs> uh, Joe what did you go to the gym do you yes I like to go early in the morning or else I don't get it done I have to watch those John Cassidy uh, uh, combos I have not seen them I I. I Cassidy with the, the pranks, with the, the the target, and when he was like a wigger and shit. Uh, but now John's involved in it, so I know that it's going to be fucking good. Um, I was watching that target wigger one on Instagram TV, and I was like, there's got to be a story behind this that I'm unaware of, because I think Cassidy is funny, and I'm looking saying, I'm not getting it. You know, maybe I didn't give it to the whole thing. I don't stack, bro. I just do testosterone. Donkey Kong. Mario. Remember the old game? Do, 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 do. <laughs> the big gorilla throwing barrels at the little guinea. <laughs> Hi, can you speak Polish? Um, not one word. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Check your Facebook Messenger. While I'm on the program right now? <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> Gre uh, Gab and Jared are a couple. I hope so. That would be a sweet one. They're both young, fit people. John said the next prank is they are picking up Big Rob to trigger him into workout, but they're really taking him into <laughs> Big J's chat group. I got videos from Jay I have to put together. I I I'm fucking goddamn and I'm so behind. Does anybody want to come over here and help me? <laughs> I am fucking... Uh, uh, so far fucking behind. It's it, it's it's like Tits McGee. <laughs> Again, my stack. <laughs> Three playboys and a hustler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jared could get ass. Oh my! Let, well, let's see this now. Wait, what is? Oh, that one. That's an older one. Here's the new one. Okay. All right, you're curling a hexagon dumbbell. Everything is covered, you know, strategically, the arm. And then you use the little kissies to cover the parts that weren't. So why the fuck did they, they, they delete it? See, that's why I told Mikey I wanted to put a lot of his things up, but they were fucking with this stuff. So, <sighs> oh, I could definitely jerk off to this. You look jacked in this. You look you look tight. Like your skin looks fucking tight. Can I fucking eat your ass when we're in Vegas? <laughs> oh, here's another one you sent me with the girl with the dildo in her ass and the nugget comes. <laughs> they said it one against I know I saw what they said, but like Thank you for sending it by the way. I it shall be utilized properly. <laughs> um uh, it was against guidelines. Why? Because uh, your nipples were almost showing? I mean, <laughs> better ask Rich about eating my ass. Yeah, but he'll say no. <laughs> I don't want to ask him. We're going to do it behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Medi Siavashi? You got me. I don't know what I'm about. <laughs> is Rich there today? Rich, can I? I, I'll be good, I promise. <laughs> I'll make a <laughs> Don Joe, hey, there he is, ABF. Paul, the New York arm and a misfits crime family. Robert Jordan, what the hell is this? It's a Sicilian message. It means he sleeps with the fish tonight. He's back to work. Perfect. Get over here. I love that ass fudge, Al, I guess. <laughs> ass fudge <laughs> to four ninety nine a pound. He looks like every Pakistani in girls DM. Kiss cutie. Somebody without a fucking thing is kissing me. Figures. My ass is already reserved. Oh, God damn it! That is great! 
all right, can I just watch? I You can even put, like, a, the velvet rope between the beds. I'll just, I don't even want a bed. I'll fucking lay in the corner on the floor. <laughs> I ain't jacking off a week. I'm already feeling cold. <laughs> What's my favorite pre-workout? I enjoy Kick-Ass by Hot Stuff Nutritionals. Hot Stuff Nutritionals is the title sponsor of this program, and it's called Muscle Sport Radio. So that is my favorite pre-workout. Um, yo, Wednesday and Friday might be something different. <laughs> We don't lie on this show. This It does kick in. It is a good pre-workout. Listen, most pre-workouts are the fucking same, guys. Let, let's be honest. How many pre-workouts are... Oh, this is the only pre-workout that does good. Come on, stop. Famous last words. I won't touch. I'll just watch along the lines. I'll rub you back. <laughs> Listen, if you and Kat Vong are doing ass, uh, anything... I, could, I would probably come so fast that I wouldn't even get close to you. <laughs> Will I try Jason Genova's pre-workout? If I get sent to for free, I'm a cheap greaseball. I ain't going out and buying shit. <laughs> I, see, I, I have to promote this stuff, and I like it, but I get it for free. <laughs> When did Ron Harris ever fucking, you know, like, admit, oh, this stuff is the same as the other stuff, but I just like it because I get it for free. <laughs> uh, Ron, I, I missed your question. Let's go find it. Girled up in a corner. Oh, Kat Vong. I, I would love to see you and Chris leave and just fucking, like, dance close. <laughs> Have you ever used a dental dam? What is a dental dam? I want to start using it for safety purposes because I'm a hypochondriac. Is that like a, a woman's condom kind of thing? I don't know what that is, uh, Rod. I hear the Skittles pre work are supposed to be like Angel Dust and Jack 3D. I don't know. Rob Harris is a Rob Harris is a priest. <laughs> he will have his jizz in it. Well, then I've already had it then. I didn't even know. You'll touch her once, touch her twice. <laughs> didn't rob you. He did, but then they they turned against me and they called me a racist. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're the first that ever did that. <laughs> Better get the Jaeger or Woodford ready. Let me tell you something. I'm going to fucking mainline Woodford into your body if you do it fucking girl on girl. <laughs> Pink Princess Bobby. Bobby, can you come here for 15 minutes? <laughs> Free Sean Roden. <laughs> I didn't know he was in jail. No. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. How are you, sweetie? No, Moss. What's the joke of the day today? I'm sorry, No, Moss. I, got, I was thinking about Pink Princess Barbie's <laughs> fucking John F. Kennedy size 50 cent piece nipples. <laughs> I remember talking to you back when I was 16 about my cycle. We need to do an interview. Oh, my God. I didn't know I was talking. I, you can't use a cycle at 16, bro. You're going to fuck your real shit up. Don't even touch the... I wouldn't even use that many fucking supplements except for Hot Stuff Nutritionals kick-ass pre-workout, of course. <laughs> and Hot Stuff t Testosterone Potentiator. <laughs> mass Muscles. What's up, Mass? No Mass joke of the day. We're waiting. We're waiting with fucking cum breath. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> no, you... It, if you're that young, I'm telling you, bro, you're going to fuck your, your real testosterone's shooting out more than your fucking, your, your one cc, two cc's or whatever. Joke of the day, what's a porn star's favorite drink? 7-Up Insider. 7-Up Insider. Oh, ha, 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 my dick. Insider. I'm trying to sound like insider. <laughs> Wait, what did Crystal say? If there's anything about girl on girl... Don't you see? Oh, yes, don't you? She's fucking smarter than me when it comes to medical stuff. Dude, at 16, your real testosterone levels are going to be much higher, the production per day, than what you will get at the beginning. Yes, when you start shooting st uh, steroids while your balls are blowing up at that age... Of course, now it's like a double exposure. Boom! Everybody's getting all this fucking test. And all of a sudden, your balls are going, wait a minute. Uh, your brain is telling your balls, you're making way too much. Stop. And all of a sudden, your natural goes down. Here's your fake <laughs> testosterone. So unless you keep using and you're going to die like all these other fucking idiots, you're going to fuck up. 
I'm telling you, bro, you do not need juice at 16, 17, 18, 19. I, it, even into your 20s, you don't need it. Joe, if you were on death row, which execution would you choose? I would choose gas. Just close my eyes. Imagine Crystal Wild. Why is Big Steel ass suffocating me? I would choose the firing squad. The fuck, I, I would have a cigarette since I stopped smoking in 08. I'd say, well, what the hell now? <laughs> and I wouldn't want a blindfold. I really, I, I'm, I'm not a pussy. I would, and I'm not lying. I would be, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I don't want to just like, oh, give me an injection. I'm going to fall asleep like I'm getting my fucking, uh, you know, my back surgery or something. Man, if you're going to fucking die, go fucking down swinging. I mean, hanging <laughs> probably hurts. So I don't want to do that. But a bullet in the head, it's over fast, man. Just make it a white guy. <laughs> Dan, the body dildo taught. That stripper is a little hater. Bit. Joe Pitero. That stripper is a little hater. Bitch. <laughs> what a fucking cunt he is. If he's at the Olympia, please send him my way. Please tell him we can all get along. Please quit calling me a sandbigger. <laughs> you don't know who you're fucking with. John, you don't know who you're fucking with. <laughs> don't be a dipshit. If you use 16, you're like, yes, I'm you're am you going to be on TRT forever and you're going to fucking die. Joe, I explained the dental dam. What? I, oh, God. I, uh, what a little hater bitch. I'll be at the National soon. Kansas teen bench record at 204. Don't use juice. Fuck for what? For a fucking, a, a fucking plastic trophy? It's like a square piece of latex that adheres to the vagina. You can lick without making. Oh, so it's like, um, yeah, you know what they used to call those? The female condoms. We opened one in a bodega one time that we hit that was dealing drugs. And we were like, <laughs> blowing it up. <laughs> Made like a balloon out of it. Former adult in Champagne, no longer in front of the camera due to a gardening accident. <laughs> Raw Rod just used saran wrap. You, that, you can do that too. But don't you want to taste the pussy though? Uh, I could see, you know, you don't want to fuck a girl without a scumbag on if you're worried about a bodega. I'm serious. In the Lower East Side in Manhattan. Dental dam is for eating coochie. I've never, I, you know what, I probably have seen them around. I've never used one. I love cunt too much. <laughs> I mean, that's like getting a blowjob with a scumbag on. I, I, I have no desire. Like, people go, oh, man, you go to the hooker and they blow you. You don't even know you have the rubber on there so good. Listen, let me tell you something. I know my cock. <laughs> I know it. I know it like the inside of my hand. <laughs> it would take me five hours to fucking even get close to coming with a scumbag on with a blowjob. I don't even know if I can come fucking with one of those things on. <laughs> you should be. Just stay healthy, yes. I want a dental dam that I can <laughs> I just want one to play with. Can I, like, spit it like a Jew dreidel? <laughs> Crystal, would it be weird if I used I haven't ate pussy in five years? I'm scared of std -ing. Of course you can get STDs and stuff like that, but, I mean, you know, if you break that out, the girl's going to be like... Just fuck me. <laughs> I agree. I told him to see how far you can go without for he's 17. That's nuts, bro. Come on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like eating a fruit roll up back in. <laughs> it would be weird if a guy wanted If a guy wanted to use it with me, but I'm not going to have sex on him when I don't trust. Oh, that's see, you're happily married. You don't have to worry about that. You and your husband, you have fucking unprotected sex because you're fucking dealing with each other. I, I, I couldn't, I mean, I, I don't know, that would feel weird. If I was that worried about a girl's pussy that I would have to put some kind of plastic piece in between it, I just won't eat it. I'll finger fuck her, you know, I'll fucking jerk off and get blown or whatever. I mean, I won't, I, w I probably would just rather do other things if I'm going to put plastic between me and a cunt, you know. Like I said, it's different than a scumbag. Joe, you know who used dental dams? Fredo. <laughs> Fredo Corleone's used dental dams. <laughs> oh, fuck it, Fredo. <laughs> Not the N-word for Italians. Take it from me. <laughs> Chris Cuomo was just, he was just mad, and I think he just was going a little overboard. 
you shouldn't be eating pussy that seems infested. <laughs> yeah, Leah, like, why do you think it's, like, wrong? What do you think about it? Be like Tony Huge and get chlamydia on the road. <laughs> Dale uses dental dams. Dale chants the states. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> now I'm going to fucking... I want a dental dam company to fucking advertise with us. <laughs> this Muscle Sport Minute is brought to you by Dental Dams by Dan. <laughs> Don't dig into that... <laughs> Deep pussy without one. <laughs> Bard raps Taco Queen with Brad the Taco Queen. If that was her in that picture, Brad is doing very well for himself. She was hot. Dental dams with the MSM logo. Yes, and then when the girl squirts on it, it just drips over the ass right in the middle. <laughs> this muscle sport man is being brought to you by Dan's Dental Dams. <laughs> want to make her come, but don't want to get a fucking mouth disease? Here you go. <laughs> Adolfo. What's up, Adolfo? How are you? I like that name. <laughs> MSM branded dildos. Yeah, but they would have to be black then, and they, you know how I am with that shit. <laughs> that's like taboo. <laughs> good for Brad. Listen, that's good for fucking you, Hefner. <laughs> she was hot, bro. I would let her crap on me. <laughs> Crystal, will you sign some to add to the collectability double D with MSM equals safe comings? <laughs> oh, say you're a you're a fucking you're a sharp cookie. <laughs> Butt plugs. Yes, I'm, I'm actually using one right now. <laughs> I'm shitting an MSM logo on it. <laughs> Just keep licking and outlining the letters. Yes, like the alphabet. Now, you remember that old trick? They said do the alphabet when you're eating a girl's pussy, and it, it, it's like all different, like you know. I think that would be confusing. All right, girls, ladies, Crystal, Cat, uh, uh, Barbie, I don't know who else is out there that's a girl, because mostly fucking swinging dick party over here. <laughs> Scratch and sniff dental dams, but then just eat the pussy. Then. When a guy does the alphabet, well, first of all, if a guy has ever done the old alphabet during Cunnilingus, is it good or is it like... Is, is, because, I, I don't know, like, sometimes if I'm getting blown, like, you know, when my wife gives me that 35 seconds in fucking heaven blowjob, or, or I'm getting a, more of the hand job, I don't want it to go ding, 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 ding. I want, you know, it's just it's steady, and then it could go faster as I'm getting out, as I'm starting to go, oh, oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> so if I'm getting the alphabet on my cunt, if I was a chick... I don't know if it would it would work for me. I think it would be like just keep doing an eye, you know. <laughs> you know, don't worry about the top and the dots. Just just the stick. <laughs> the lady would lick in the dental dam after she was warmed up. Put a condom on and fucked her. I I think a dental dam would be. Why don't you use it and and fucking have her put the fucking the uh, like something a part of it up your your ass. <laughs> See, that would be a good thing. How does Boston Lord take three grams of test and look... Boston Lord does not look natural, bro. That fucking guy is fucking jacked to fucking shit. He looks fucking great. He's fucking built like a brick shit house. You also have to suck the clit. A bit. I love sucking the clit. I love... And, and, and especially if it's testosterone enhanced, you can fillet it. I, I'd ask the lady, do you want to use it on Raw Rod? Joe, do you ever poke the pink eye with your tongue? Yes, but my wife does not like... You mean the brown eye? <laughs> She's like, hey, hey, up front. And I'm like, I just want to taste your asshole. I just want a little copper penny. <laughs> Women are more complex than us, Joe. <laughs> yeah, but do you think the alphabet's good or bad? Because like that's like an old wives' tale. <laughs> Imagine like two old wives. Oh my dear, my husband was doing the alphabet on me last night, Gertrude. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit, Darty. <laughs> Did you come? <laughs> I've heard eating the box is a natural test booster. What do you think, Joe? Now, let me tell you something. I'm not sure about that, but I remember I had this real bad sore throat when I was like 17, 18. And I was, like, I'm talking coughing constantly. And the girl I was dating, hey, Mr. Rob, what's up? The girl I was dating 
we used to fuck around like uh, sometimes two or three times a day, uh, and not every day, but like when we could sneak it in. This is before we ha I had an apartment, so it was either her mother was at work and we'd do it in the house, or we would do it in my car or go to hotels. And I used to eat her pussy, and the pussy juice was the only thing that stopped me from coughing when I had this real bad hacking cough. Um, so I don't know if it raises testosterone levels, but it fucking helps your core. It's better than that fucking Mucinex or whatever the fuck. It's better than them Smith Brothers cherry drops. <laughs> Joey's cunt cough drops. <laughs> Old school, baby. Knocking at the back door. Oh, I fucking bet he had used an Altoid. <laughs> I want to stick an Altoid in a girl's fucking asshole and then just suck it right out. Bottle it and sell it. I know. I got to look her up. <laughs> no, I mean, I haven't really even thought of a Joey Gold <laughs> It throat moisturizing. <laughs> I don't know what... And I used to... Lay, we would joke around about it, me and this broad. We dated for a couple of years, like... And I would be like, I, I don't know what it is. I said, when I get it in my mouth, it just, it, my throat feels great. As soon as we're done, I stop coughing again. I remember fucking this bitch, and after she left, I started vomiting. It was weird. Yeah, but how much alcohol did you have in your system? Because you were bouncing up and down. A lot of times when, when a, you're fucking drunk and the girl goes, I have to puke, it's not because she's sick because you're fucking her. It's because of the bed bouncing. Because you probably fucking bang that girl a thousand times. All of a sudden now, once she's sick and you think it's because from your cock. <laughs> a pussy a day keeps the cough away. There you go. <laughs> Who needs coughs? Just eat. Yeah, because when I eat it, I want to get everything out of it. I want all of it. Even if there's a rolled up piece of toilet paper in there, I swallow it. I don't go, I take it in my mouth and I, I put it like, like, like a baseball player with chore. First of all, how many times a day do you have sex? Oh, it's so low. Joe eating pussy is like a road trip with your wife. You don't want to stop and ask for directions. You don't want to admit it's a handheld device could do a better job than you. I know, girls must say, no matter how good a guy's cock is, that a fucking dildo or a, or a rabbit vibrator, just, it blows it all away. It's like getting fucked in and the clit eaten at the same time. Solo every day, wow. God damn it, man. Can I just get a little <laughs> video of one of them? Even, even, just, even if it's just like, like the, the one you don't, that you, you just don't want to be bothered doing, and you're not even into it. Jay, Matt, Jay, I got all your clips. I know I, I got to put them together. He sent me his clips. I got to make a uh, bedroom bully a bonanza. I love those eyes. <laughs> fucking Jay, when he talks in the camera, his eyes. He looks, it's fucking amazing. I got to get it up there uh, and do it together. 19 days until my bench meet. Anadrol in the house. Fopa! Fopa, do you have your earphones? Oh, you fucking mother. Uh, join Mike Falpa. Even if he can't hear us, it's still it's it's worth its weight in gold. Josh, you must be allergic to one of the ingredients that those brands use. Stay away from proprietary blend. That didn't help much, did it? Josh? <laughs> Everything's proprietary blend. He's the unofficial. No, he's the official. <laughs> Mike, back with no earphones again. Big J, my mentor. Punk, I hear. What happened to that weird kid that used to go live? Who, Brandon? The vegetable soup? How much is your mag subscription? Well, you can get this magazine right here. $32 a year. Free shipping in the United States, Joshua Thomas. Free shipping. In the U.S. And if you live elsewhere, it's like $8 an issue, I think, to Europe. And, 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 and even I think I sent one to Lee Priest to Australia. It was like $8. Because it's a flat envelope. It's not like t-shirts or more. Because the fucking, even though it's light, it's the thickness. If you have a flat envelope, and I, I know it's very hard to understand when you see Thea Renee's beautiful bosom and say flat. It doesn't really make much sense. But uh, in the envelope world, it does. <laughs> so $32 a year free shipping in the U.S. If you subscribe today, I will get this out to you tomorrow.
<laughs> I'm just saying. We work fast here. We eat, can't eat ass and work fast. Savage Psycho Joe has been bringing the men's better than Jason Genova. I haven't looked him up in a while, Bully. I got to check him out more. Uh, he was on this show a few times, and it was fucking gold. He was here earlier, Big J. Where? On this show? I didn't see him punch in. I would have fucking wanted him on. Heard Osterin used his link to cancer and shut down a pituitary pretty good in the pancreatic. I don't know. Crystal, can you have my Crystal's my almanac. Everything I need to know about. Sex, medical things, fucking horses, whatever. The descriptions come with the dental dam. Um, not yet. But once we get them on board, yes, we can do that. Fulpa needs to get his brain examined. Time to join up the dosage doctor. Sponsor my workout. Mikey, I will sponsor your workout with a Subway 6-inch sub. A five dollar foot long, maybe. I'm not a fan of SARMs. I don't know much about SARMs. Free dental dam with every subscription. I need to cut a promo for Country Crush latch straps. Can't wait to. Yeah, wait till you go. I know you were saying you were getting them. Ray was mailing them to you. So when you get them, do a fucking promo. Without a doubt, bro. Used MSM butt plug. Subscribe to me. I thought Psycho Joe went off the radar. I have been seeing things, but I don't know if it's really his account. Like when you see official Savage Psycho Joe, and one says like fan, official fan club. I, I just follow him all, because if it's got him on it, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Southern Oregon says, what's up? Awesome channel. Hey, thank you very much, Bob. Appreciate it. Or, I've never been to Oregon. You like the Trailblazers? There's not a lot of professional sports, but the Ducks are uh, the Oregon fucking NCAA Ducks. Great fucking football program up there. Just scrolled up and check again. He joined. It was real account. Oh, Savage Psycho Joe, if you're on, I want you. I want you. He wants the charity fight Kenny K.O. It's going to be like the Bagel Boss versus uh, Lenny Dykstra in Atlantic City this month. Uh, bedroom bully. No, Rod, stop. Canes and Gators Saturday. I can't wait for the season to start because you know, you know I have no interest in that fucking black activist football league, otherwise known as the National Football League. <laughs> it's fucking sickening. <laughs> it's boycottening. <laughs> I have no idea how uh, uh, the, the, my team is Penn State, um, but I like to just be surprised. Jacksonville, Oregon. I didn't know there was a Jacksonville in Oregon. I know there was a, in Florida. That's where uh, uh, a big C is. And Dexter Jackson. They, they, in the contrary to popular belief, they did not name Jacksonville after Dexter Jackson. But they should. It's gone big. <laughs> Ruan! What's up, motherfucker? All the way from Hollywood land. You know that sign that says Hollywood in the fucking mountains in, the, in, in Southern California? It used to say Hollywood land. You're a fucking muncher and a hot cunt! It not only up the American flag, it was kind of American cunt. I know, bro. The, the, the fucking history behind Liberia is really, it's fascinating. Fascinating. Johnson, mister, what's up, Mr. J? I know Harvey. Harvey, uh, I'm a lawyer. That guy, he, I actually enjoyed that show. I think it's, it's, it's a, hey, brother, Joe. What's up, Mr. J? Um, Mr. J, meet Mikey Fulpa. Yes. <laughs> That's the butts of scene with Bubba. <laughs> you must love that dyke soccer play who kneels for the anthem. I don't love her, but I would fuck her. <laughs> I hate her guts. Right wingers of all creeds, welcome. Yes. <laughs> How did you meet Harvey? I'm a lawyer. That's what he said to Mikey. You know me. Only got a minute. Busy at work. Hey, Nucky. Yo, what's up? Ow. <laughs> Tell Jay I send them some duck gear. Jay, uh, 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 Bob's gonna send you some ducks gear, even though you like he's he's a he's a a, a, a Wolverines fan. The maize in blue at the gym. So you met Harvey. He works out at a gym. You work at it. I didn't make the... Mr. Johnson, you never need to apologize, my friend. Anytime you are here, it's a pleasure and an honor. Opinion on Yola Romero and performance and body at 42 years old and natural. I don't even know who that is. Why does that sound... Is that the UFC fighter? Is he a UFC guy? Because if he is, I interviewed him one time, but it was through a... Uh, uh, I, 
we had like a, a interpreter kind of thing. Had to wipe off some karma. <laughs> okay, no problem. Don't let me hold you back. <laughs> you should have saved some for me, you prick. Wants to be my friend, cocksucking, fucking selfish bastard. Get a hard on on her presence. I would probably get a hard on in her presence. Wolverines, never. Wolverine. I mean, like it's. I don't get it done. It was against Gundam kind of thing. To die, like I like the life does not Who needs coughs. Get this out to you. Don't to pop up your leave. You're white. Son does once in a while, like, even though I don't want to hear updates, he tells me, oh, you know, you, 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 you're going to watch football again? You know, did you see the thing? And I see shit on Twitter. You should have won that fight or should have been a draw. I did a fucking, uh, that thing. I think I was with Blackman at the time for Fitness Rx for Men. Uh, what does Bedroom Bully think of our new leader of team? Bedroom Bully, what do you think of Mikey to the fault to the Falpa? <laughs> Used to love Nike, Jay, until they fucked up with Kappa Fuck. Yeah, I, I have two pairs of Nike sneakers that I just put in boxes under my bed. I should don't. I won't throw them out. I'll donate them. They're fucking poor people, you know, they can wear whatever they fucking need to wear. They wear like fucking in, in Vietnam. They wore fucking tire sandals. I met Harvey at the gym before I knew about TMZ. So was it uh, in the steam room? <laughs> he's a, he's been okay. They still haven't. Had... Oh, Steve McNair, Alcorn State man. I wanted the fucking Jets. To trade up and get him that fucking year. What was it? 92 or whatever it was. Uh, and I knew that that motherfucker was going to be a fucking stud. Even though he played at a fucking, you know, a, a no-name college. It's just certain certain times you, you, you see film on a guy and you're just like, fuck, this guy looks good. Old farts wear new balance. I know my, my son used to make fun of me with my... I used to wear the Monarchs. Yes, Big J, are you going to the Olympia? Because I think you would like to watch the, our lesbian uh, uh, spin the bottle game. <laughs> Big Mike is better than everyone. Yes. Fault but rules. Look, he knows all of these fucking Hollywood. I should start fucking palsy wowsy with him. I should take a ride out there. Mikey Fault but we are going to be at the LA Fit Expo in January. I really, really, really want to meet you in person and have a fucking beer with you. Fulper is a guy who likes to dim the lights when someone walks in the zone. <laughs> Andrew wears their monarchs. You know who wears monarchs? <laughs> Fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? The, the Pete, what's his, he used to coach the Jets. He's the Seattle coach now. He has him. <laughs> Carroll, Pete Carroll, the USC coach. He coached the Jets in 94. Andrew gets surgery Wednesday. Yes, I know. And then the, uh, he said on the 22nd for every, um, a thousand, he's going to do extra PT or something. Antifa, yes! Oh, then where's that o Oregon guy? Portland wants to, you got to fucking kill that fucking people. Oh, let me see. Crystal said, Rich wanted to know if he can wear a wig and bra, if he can play spin the bottle. No! I know he has a cock and it's a nice one. <laughs> Old darts and billionaires. I um, but that... Antifa in uh, in uh, Portland uh, over the weekend. Um, that idiot in the fucking uh, like the he looked like the uh, Ottawa Senators fucking looking guy, and he brought his daughter with him and put a fucking bike helmet on her. Stupid! You're you know these fuckers don't fucking play fair. Why would you bring your daughter with you? Bring a fucking clock. And if a skirmish, yes, I I I the one with the hammer. Let me tell you something. If any of those guys had a fucking legal, even if it was illegal, you know, they get locked up for the, you know, but legally you could have shot that motherfucker. Maybe he can tuck it. <laughs> Would you do me? I'd do me. Did you like Chad Pennington? I loved Chad Pennington. We are Marshall. Chick, what a dick. No, only real, real chicks. Not even uh, transgenders. We're against transgenders. I don't even want to, I want to just all vaginas. Chad Pennington was a great quarterback for the Jets. I believe they got rid of him too soon because they needed a splash to, to go against the Giants winning Super Bowls and they thought bringing in a 95-year-old Brett Favre was going to fucking be the answer. Wrong! <laughs> Joe Namath. I love Joe Namath. I fucking, I've seen him in person. I'm dying to interview him. 
I was chasing after him, and I was going to his publicist. Let me just get two questions. What the fuck? I said I so I used to go to Shea Stadium. It was after he was retired, but I'm like I've seen games at Shea Stadium. Please let me ask the fucking guy one question. Gap's not a lady boy, not one bit. Last time I sucked a dick, it was all cunt. <laughs> Joe Namath is a legend. If you look at Joe Namath, I'm going to be realistic now. Because I'm a sports snob. If you look at Joe Namath's stats, he really wasn't that good of a quarterback. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm a little young to have seen him play. I mean, he played in 76 with the Rams and was hurt. So, I, I, I you know, I, I have to say, I really never saw him play. I've seen videos and I've read his stats. He made a guarantee and won a Super Bowl. That, after that, it didn't matter what he did. I'm waiting for Mr. Bob. Bob, all I see is a plant. Is that a big cannabis plant? Ken Stabler or Joe Namath? Well, Stabler won fucking more Super Bowls, so, you know. But only Namath only played in one. We're getting a freezing on uh, Mr. Bob over here. I don't know if you guys are seeing him or I'm freezing. I don't know what's going on. But again, Instagram Live, not working properly for uh, for fucking uh, Muscle Sport. Bob, Bueller, anyone? How many did Stable win? Two, I think, right? Because uh, then you had fucking um, in 1980, uh, fucking what's his name? That Hawaiian-looking dude won it, uh, who took over for Pastorini, who fucking broke his leg. This guy's free. It's fucking all frozen and shit like that. Bob, it was all frozen. I definitely want people on, but uh, it, it froze. So, Kim, is Kim on here? Kid Haynes? Speaking of cunnilingus, <laughs> Ricky Bobby couldn't shake a bag of Ricky Bobby. The snake, who is that? Hi, Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy. Kimmy's going to be at the Olympia. Mr. Olympia. If Anna for crap that black leader got arrested. <laughs> yes, as you see that, you sent me that in, in the, our uh, group uh, DM there. Mikey sent us the guy. He was on fucking PCP, the fucking black guy with no shirt. Yeah, he was really ripped, wasn't he? Fucking tits in the gut. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited that you're excited. I'm going to jerk off thinking about your excitement. I got to do Skype sex. The, can any girl on here do Skype sex with me at 4 o'clock? <laughs> oh, man. I promise I'm going to come quick, I'll, and I'll let you see everything. <laughs> yeah, where is Hamburg? <laughs> He got arrested. Well, Hamburg, that so that fucking black guy, that fucking fat fuck, got arrested. Good, fuck him. Jay Cutler saw me work out. Did he get a hard on? Chicks do not have dicks. That makes you do it. Sorry, <laughs> Brett, <laughs> Brett Falk. Yeah, he started off great. I think they were like eight and one or something. Joe, you should start up a brothel. I know, but I would fucking the human resources would be here in my name every day. <laughs> what is HBO? To? Oh my god, the corner stufa? It's only six one hour episodes. I believe the last one was a 90 minute. It, you can get them all on YouTube in full. I think they may have Spanish subtitles at the bottom, like it's a bootleg. Amazing. Amazing. And if you're a fan of The Wire, Homicide, or even... Um, Bulwark Empire, you're going to recognize so many fucking... Like, Ariana just said it. It's fucking amazing. Have you seen Carrie powerlifting? No, but she was telling me she's into powerlifting now. She's a tall drink of water, Jay. Did you see her? No, you were at the Olympia, at the, uh, at the fucking Arnold. She was there. Arnold came to the gym a week after I left. Eh, we should have stayed. <laughs> Farm almost, yeah, fucking Farm, he shits the bed in the last, like, six weeks of the Jets. He's playing like a third stringer, and then he retires again, and then he goes to the Vikes, and then he fucking, like uh, Mikey said, he almost led him to the Super Bowl. It's like, what was that all about? And we got rid of Pennington for, for you for one year? Homicide, life in the streets. And you know what? I wasn't crazy about Homicide. I did watch it. 
but uh, I really liked um, The Corner and The Wire a lot better than Homicide. I know it was the same people behind it and all, but I just, I enjoyed the other, the HBO ones better. Jay, why is Jason turned on Brad? Now he says he's negative. Yeah, I don't like that mass on sub. I, I don't participate in those things. What's the difference between an NFL player and an elevator? The elevator can raise a child. Oh! <laughs> Oh, they have a lot of children out of wedlock. Vinny Testaverde. You know, there's his fucking uh, son is playing college football now, Jay. Southland. I did not watch that. Uh, there's many shows that people told me that are like, how could you not have that? It was the best show ever. And they're probably right. I just, I, a lot of times I just, if I don't start watching it at the beginning, I can't do that marathon shit. That, that's fucking, I, 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 I need jerk off fucking breaks. <laughs> I like the corner of Wyatt, but it's who we ever watch Oz. Yes, Oz was excellent, but definitely freaked me out. The, the fed shit got a little too close for comfort, you know? Um, you know, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, Schillinger came in that fucking kid's face after the solitary that I was, oh, come on. I just, it was too graphic. Uh, I'm so old. I started with Hill Street Blues. I liked Hill Street Blues. That's what, the, the what's his face was on? The one from NYPD Blue, Sipowitz, short sleeve fucking button shirt. I used to wear Sipowitz shirts and fucking when I was in the squad. It's hot out. UFC had amazing fights Saturday. Did any of the girls fight? I like girls fighting. No, do not unsub Jason. Leave him alone. He's a good man. Jason's good. He's got a good heart. <sighs> Gotta go hold the phone and jerk my huge cock with one hand. Impossible. I've seen it. Chicago PD is my show. You know, it's on in the morning, Jay. And when I'm doing my cardio, it's like on, I don't know what channel it is. It's like, you know, it's repeats. And they, and sometimes I'll pay attention to it. They are, they are some hot fucking cunt on that show. All started great, but turned into a gay soap opera. Yeah, it got a little, especially the ending. It got a little weird. I like the, when the, the Irish IRA guy, the bomb builder was. And then, the, you know, the Mayhem guy from the fucking uh, Allstate or State Farm commercial, whatever. He was, him and his fucking retarded fucking brother with the long hair. He looked like Noah Syndergaard, his retard brother, <laughs> when he had to go to the electric chair. <laughs> he was scared because <laughs> he was a tard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, they fucking murdered and raped. He, you know, fuck, he knew what he was doing then. A female cop with a strap on is nice. I would be all for it, bro. <laughs> How do you like Jason's rocker look, Joe? Yes, I like the blonde hair. Yeah, he looks like fucking uh, Hagar. <laughs> Not Hagar the Horrible, Sammy Hagar. <laughs> you remember Hagar the Horrible, the Viking? <laughs> I can only stay interested for so long. There has to be some tits. I agree, Alec. Every commercial that comes on that doesn't show a girl that's even passable to fucking want to eat a cunt, it's a waste of time. Nobody's watching it. Marketing 101, show ass. I get turned on with the fucking girls that fucking the leak and they piss when they left too hard commercials. <laughs> they show those fucking milfs. Oh, I, I, I was afraid to go in public and laugh too hard. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, oh, yeah. Oh, God, that sounds uh, a little Hershey squirt, a little pee, pee squirt, a little accident, whatever. It's all good. This hour went by quick. Yes, because we're all gay and we were fucking each other in the ass. <laughs> Pastor Gaines. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned every fucking week on these programs. A nose piercing. Would you allow your son to get a nose piercing like Jason did? Um, I... You know what? I, I, I guess I would. I'm not into it. Those aren't MILFs. No, the ones on the commercial they show are MILFs, but the product is for grannies. Think America been ran better if Nazis were <laughs> Well, it'd be a tight ship, I tell you that. They wouldn't be arguing over fucking trips to Israel. <laughs> When's the last time you sharted, Joe? <laughs> I don't know. I have to check. <laughs> Brenda Kelly. I like Brenda Kelly. She actually wrote a few articles for uh, the magazine and the website. 
Sarah Spitz Station. What's up? Oh, it's no ugly woman on television. They use attractive and ugly ones with makeup. Yes, a tight ship. <laughs> Past the gains, weighs 120 pounds, soaking wet. With or without the collar on. <laughs> They be no democratic or antifa. Do you know that fascism is basically the same thing as communism? And they call Trump a fascist, but they support socialism, communism, which are basically synonyms of one another. <laughs> Depending on where you look and who you ask, there is nothing different between socialism and communism. Some people say socialism is just social programs, but people still like, have independently owned businesses. Ca uh, communism was where the government owns everything, even like the local fucking Guinea Bakery on 18th Avenue. But then you talk to somebody else, you read another left-wing thing, and they say, uh, you, you know, they're the same. So I don't know. Met her on Muscle Beach. Real men play rugby and not American football. Uh, only college football is real football. The NFL is fucking criminal football. Have you seen the new trend in immigration porn? <laughs> no. Is that why they, they stick that, the, the, the ICE agent sticks his dick through the fence and the fucking lady's got to suck him off? <laughs> I met him on MSM live stream. <laughs> Antifa is for losers. I'm going to become an Antifa. I'm going to look. What was that one that had like the clown wig on? It, like, it was like a winter hat, but like clown looking. <laughs> Oh, where are you guys out of? I am in New York. New York! <laughs> Did you, do you take anything for fatigue? Yes! Woads in the face! <laughs> Glory fence. Oh. I'm drinking a fucking pre-workout right now. This fucking kick ass, bro. It kicks fucking ass. I'm telling you, Thomas. I never did a glory hole. Should I? I mean... Do they have heterosexual glory holes anywhere? Because then I would do it. Like if a girl, like, just put her mouth, and then you could fuck her mouth. Joe Biden is not a threat to American way of life. The rest is socialist. I know, but Biden is... I'm almost starting to feel sorry for the cocksucker, but not there yet. <laughs> Institution glory hole. Yeah, like, I should, like... Us heterosexuals to start arguing and say, why do homosexuals, the LBGTQ, AEIOU, and sometimes Y community have a fucking monopoly on glory holes? It's not fair. You know, we want to be able to go somewhere and just stick our cock in a girl's mouth. Why do only gay people get that fucking up? That's, I mean, that, that's privilege. You know, white, black, <laughs> Chinese. Uncle Joe is a fucking Tim Whitman. If you want to vote for me, just go to Joe 30330. He thought it was not only was it 3030, it was 3033. Amsterdam, Japan, but you never know who it was. Yeah, but I want to know it's not, I want it to be a, like a straight bar glory hall type of thing. I don't want it to be like it could be a guy, because only guys are going to be there then. Because guys, faggots are fucking disgusting. <laughs> so am I. But it's been a girl. Like if a girl's strap on, you know, then you can put your cock in your, your, your ass. <laughs> Sword fight. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Laying down on a massage table that has a glory hall. Man, all fucking full service massages are wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> Those fucking Asian bitches are really good at that. <laughs> Those Orientals. <laughs> I'm from Laos. <laughs> Where are you from? Brooklyn? Plain of jars. He covered common jars. I'm from Cambodia. I got him out of S21. Pol Pot didn't get me. <laughs> now I get tipped for jerking off Gideon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, those poor fucks. The Khmer Rouge just fucked everybody up over there. Corey Everson, I've masturbated to her photograph more times than any other female in this industry, I think. Mama-san, give me special $20. You give me the Asian jackhammer five minutes. She's been in the U.S. for 10 minutes. Her name is Linda. <laughs> Nate is Viet Cong. Is he? <laughs> he's VC? He's got to be a... He's got to be a Amerasian. He's not full. <laughs> Rachel McLeish. 
she still looks good, man. Remember when she did the cover of Iron Man a few years ago at 50? I don't, fuck, I don't even give a shit if they photoshopped it, man. I would take a hot lunch from her with no saran wrap. <laughs> you like that, Bob? <laughs> oh, be it wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> Me like massacre, motherfucker. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, no. I'm going to be cut off. I didn't get the thing there, Crystal. See? They didn't, Jody, you ever get the massage and say, you strong boy. <laughs> you lift weights. <laughs> Nazi be good judges for the Olympia. <laughs> no, they should have the Nuremberg judges to be for the Olympia. <laughs> I promise you, I did not do, I did not put up with that. <laughs> Guys, we're going to get cut off. Crystal. So tomorrow night, your channel, 6 o'clock, Linnell, because I want to plug it. I want to plug you. I mean, I want to plug it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on Hot Stuff Presents Muscle Sport Radio. We will see you guys on Wednesday for Gearing Up. Uh, LegalSteroids.com uh, presents Gearing Up. Muscle Video 30, say 30%. Crystal tomorrow night, crystal.wildfire.anthony. And uh, I believe on the 23rd, there's going to be a Fit Chicks chat. So we, it's going to be a full fucking week. And I'll be back Wednesday and Friday. Guys, thank you for so much for joining us. Bob, try it again on Wednesday. And I, I, I love to get you on live. It was freezing up. Fopa, LA Fit Expo, motherfucker. January, me and you, fucking six pack and right in the fucking alleyway. <laughs> <laughs>